What's up guys, Charles here with D2HipyDesigns.com. I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today's going to be a Sony Vegas tutorial and I'm going to be covering ramp slow motion. For some reason, um, the, a lot of the other tutorials I've seen on this, people just like chop the video up in a bunch of little pieces and uh, do some work to it. Which, I mean, that's fine, but I definitely believe there's an easier way of doing it and I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and find where we want this to be uh, slow down. I'm thinking right about here. I'm going to slow it down. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and I'm going to split it and I'm going to go up here and split it. And then I'm going to insert, uh, right click, insert, remove envelope, and then click on velocity. Now I'm going to insert a keyframe. Uh, let's see. I want it to be really slow right there. So I'm going to put a keyframe here, and then right there I want it to be at its slowest point, so put a keyframe there. And I'm going to drop it to, I don't know, about 30. Oh, and if you notice, let me zoom in here again. I went ahead and put a keyframe at the end of this here. I'm going to go ahead and if you double click on it, it'll automatically go to um, regular speed. So anyway, back to this middle point here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down to uh, probably about 24%. And then we'll just go ahead and add this back. Now what we need to do is we need to take the audio here. And I'm going to split it about right there. Actually, let's go ahead and separate the audio from the video first. So hit U, That's, that'll separate it. And then I'm going to split it. And then let's go through here. And then we'll split it there. I'm going to shrink that down. And then uh, I'm what I'm doing now is I'm holding control down as I scale it back up. and then right click on it, properties, lock to stretch. That'll improve the sound quality. And then we can just go ahead and add that back. All right, that worked very well. Um, the reason why I had to mess with the audio is um, when you use um, the velocity for um, the speed of the clip, it doesn't um, affect the speed of the audio or anything. So you would just have to go in there and um, fix that real quick, which as you can see, it didn't take long. So um, anyway, guys, hope this tutorial helped. I'm out of here. Peace.